Norwich City Hall was built in 1938 as part of a long-standing plan to create a new civic centre. This video looks at the history of the City Hall site beginning in the northwestern corner on St Giles Street and coming round via St Peter Street to Bethel Street. So here we are on St Giles Street beginning with a look at the northwestern corner of the site and an area that was known as Tuck's Court. George Borrow worked as an apprentice for a law firm called Simpson and Rackham based in Tuck's Court. Back on St Giles Street we're now looking towards the Guildhall and the buildings which predated City Hall. As you can see City Hall was set back from the original building line to create more external space. The Guildhall is to the bottom left of both of these photos. There were more courtyards behind the frontage, including this one, Lowe's Yard, which is where Norwich Education Department had its offices in this mansion, hidden from view behind St Giles Street. We've now reached the corner of St Giles Street, with St Peter's Street on the left, and this is the current view. Looking back now towards that same corner, this is what people would have seen back in 1934. Turning to look in the other direction, we can see here the entrance to Pope's Head Yard. If we went into the yard and looked back towards St Peter's Street, this is what we would have seen. Moving a little further along St Peter's Street, this is another pub, the Wounded Heart. And Wounded Heart Lane led off the road. And as before, this is the view looking back towards St Peter's Street. This is the Wounded Heart, which had been renamed Kitchener's Arms between 1915 and 1928 when its licence was transferred to the Romany Rye on Corman Road. One more court to peer into, this was Rackham's Court, and now we're looking towards the corner of St Peter's Street and Bethel Street, indicated here with a subtle white arrow. This is the corner viewed from the other direction, more or less from in front of the Forum. St Peter Street used to continue around St Peter Mancroft Church to join Hay Hill, where next now is. So having glanced down the rest of St Peter Street, let's return to its corner with Bethel Street and the Mancroft Hotel. Let's go down Bethel Street a little way and look back towards its corner with St Peter Street. Having acquired all the various properties required for the City Hall site, demolition started in 1933 and by 1935 the site had been cleared. Building City Hall also meant the old municipal buildings which had housed the council's activities could be demolished and would be replaced by the memorial gardens that we still see today. This is the new City Hall memorial gardens and marketplace as seen in 1938. It was influenced by the city hall in Stockholm, Sweden. And now some random scenes from its history, beginning with the official opening by King George VI and Queen Elizabeth in 1938. This is VE Day in 1945. Rumour has it that in bombing Norwich, Hitler did not target city hall because it had the longest balcony in the UK and would be the perfect backdrop for his victory speech. This is the arrival of the UK's first municipal computer in 1957. City Hall was also used as a location for Alan Partridge's film Alpha Papa and of course many, many football achievements. <laughs> 